Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center and I'm here with Kenny with his movie Fighter. Let's take a look at a clip. Have you pieced any of it together yet? I'm sorry, I, I don't I don't know what's what's going on. No, James. Whatever choice you make, it gets better. I promise. Congratulations on your film. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. But for those that haven't seen it, tell us a, a brief synopsis. Uh, Fighter is a film about a veteran who wakes up on the beach and uh, tries to piece together who he is and how he lost himself. And as the story unfolds, you kind of see that it's a cross space between like life and death. And there's a character that is represented by the author who's kind of a spiritual deity that mm -hmm. walks him through some stuff and yeah. Where did the inspiration come from in creating a particular story? The inspiration came from a friend of mine who was wounded overseas and he flatlined on a kilo. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I caught back up with him and we talked about his experience, I explained to him an experience I had getting out of the military mm -hmm. that involved uh, ayahuasca mm -hmm. and uh, dealing with certain things and his experience with the death and what he saw, the two like really intertwined and then the piece in the short at the end where the character comes out of the water is, mm -hmm. is, is what that was his experience is somebody pushing him kind of away from the light. Yeah. We lost a friend uh, a couple years back named uh, Chuck Keating mm -hmm. and this individual who got wounded over there, it happened in that same vicinity. And that's the character that he saw when he was on that helo, kind of pushing him yeah. back to his body, I guess. I mean, I, well, I mean, c commend you, and you've got obviously such good people around you that you, you know, want to turn this into art. And I think one of the things that, you know, we're experiencing is that, you know, whether you've experienced it yourself, everyone has got some form of relation and appreciation for the military, for what, what you go through, and also raising awareness of the things that you go through, you know, mentally and your experiences. What was, you know, what was that like for you to turn, you know, these kind of experiences that you had into putting it on a, in a film? Was that, was that tough for you guys, or was it kind of a release in some ways? Um, when he, when my friend told me his story, I was, it was, it was really powerful to me, and so, finding a way to express that was it felt good to do mm. that and his was w really more of a cosmic experience and then trying to translate that with the budget mm -hmm. which is why we chose the beach and had some metaphors in there mm -hmm. so it, it was a really cool experience mm. and it was a good a re emotional release yeah. yeah 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 no definitely well i think i think um you know immediately from the first you know, from the first shot, you just, you know, felt for, you know, his character and what he was going through. And, you know, you kind of gave this unraveling of not knowing until almost the very end, yeah. I want to give it all away, of, of <laughs> what was, how it was going to go and how it was going to lead. Um, was that kind of something you wanted viewers to kind of like pick up on and piece things together yes. as they went along? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, wanted, yeah. I wanted it to uh, feel confusing and... Mm -hmm like you kind of understood until the end and then it made a lot of sense. Yeah. But you know, I, what I loved about the way that you did decide to do it that way was the fact that it's almost like when you've been through, if you've been through an experience and you've been in the military and you've experienced this, you know, that it, it's kind of not all simply, like you, you don't just go there and you come out of it and that's it, you know? I mean, there are memories and experiences that you've had and, and there are gonna be moments when it's gonna be tougher than others as well. And I felt like through his character, you really showed that, but it's almost like the rest of the world don't understand or they can't see what this person has been through. So therefore, they've got, they don't know enough about what he's going through. Yeah. And I think that was a great teaching that you did for us as an audience and a reminder, you know, that people have been through certain things and they feel certain ways. And I think that was a really good thing that you did there. Um, now you had a great cast and you know, and, and how was the casting process for you? Um, I, a woman named Alice Thor, who I took some acting classes with, she has a studio 
And so the whole thing came together in a three, I wrote it and we put it together, put mm -hmm. the cast, everything in three weeks. Wow. And so she really helped streamline the casting process for mm -hmm. me and helped me find people that were right for the story, gave me a couple options. And once I saw them, they all kind of just fit into the, yeah. the people that I had wrote for. Yeah. And, and, and you know, listen, there is a few challenges shooting on the beach. How was that experience yeah. for you? Um, it was interesting. Uh, we didn't have a lot of people show up until later. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we, we also shot on film. Mm. Oh, so, wow. so 16 millimeter we shot on and we ended up having to tap into, so I had three daytime roles and two night. Mm -hmm. We ended up having to tap into the nighttime role for the final sequence, which is mm -hmm. in, on a set, mm -hmm. but it all worked out and it was really cool. Um, what was the what was the kind of biggest challenge you experienced? Uh, there was a ton, but um, especially for, for it being my first time, but learned a ton. Uh, I think it would have to be shooting on film mm -hmm. and not being allowed to l let the camera roll before and after, give mm -hmm. it some more time. And then I didn't shoot a lot of the rehearsals, especially we have like a, a long one -er. mm -hmm. And the rehearsal was amazing. I mean, it came out amazing, the, the one that we chose, but yeah, the the second rehearsal just was, was perfect. And then that's when I really realized I, if I had the film and had the money, I would shoot the rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's great. Yeah. I mean, that's, what's it like being in that different hot seat? I mean, coming from acting, but then coming into directing, writing. What has that experience been like for you? I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. yeah. It feels like a better fit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you're good at it, what can you do, really? That's all I'm <laughs> going to say. Well, I mean, I, I think it was obviously part of this very special um, new filmmakers which celebrated, you know, uh, military stories. And, and it, it, you know, it was so powerful. There were veterans in the audience last night and they got to experience it. What was it like, you know, having your film up on the big screen, but particularly, you know, in looking at the, you know, celebration of the military with people obviously like yourself that have also fought for the country as well? Um, well, that was the first time that it's been screened on a large screen in front of anybody, so that was really- Wow, it was, awesome a, yeah, it was a cool experience. Mm. And it's, it's a, I guess ner you're just nervous, you know, yeah. and then to hear people applaud is always nice. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. It was, it was a good experience. And now that you've, obviously this came from a personal journey and experience, now that you've made it, you've done it, you know, and obviously it's close to your heart because it's, you know, very, stories of, you know, based mm -hmm. upon people what happened. How do you feel having done that? Do you feel good about that you'd made this project now? Does it feel good for you? I do, uh, in hindsight to it all. I wouldn't mind coming back in the future and revisiting it and trying mm -hmm. to make it a lot bigger mm -hmm. and more because there was a lot more to it that I had to narrow the scope for uh, for the budget yeah and for what for expectations did, yeah. did you have an idea of what you wanted your audience to kind of get from it was there something that you you're looking for I, I kind of did yeah that uh, you you aren't necessarily your experiences and, and your memories or something a little bit more and mm. I think people lose that sometimes mm -hmm. and they fall into uh, these categories and they think that's who they are but yeah. they're not I mean, I don't know if people got that, but that's kind of oh, what I was saying. You, you, no, no, I said to the, uh, you know, you, you left people thinking or rethinking, um, whether it be about mental health, about loss, about people you love, about personal experiences, about, you know, being more kind of human towards people that have gone through certain things and more understanding as well. You know, I certainly got a lot from it and, you know, I really felt our, our audience were humbled by it as well. So congratulations. Cool, I really think you. you did that in Fighter. Um, what is next for you? Uh, so next, I was just down in Miami, and we're shooting a short down there. In January, I got uh, a great DP on board. We've got mm -hmm. some producers out here, and an actor that I worked with on the film 12 Strong, Jack Kessie, just kind of signed with us for the lead. Fantastic. And it's going to be a little bit different. It'll be a sci-fi action, still with the military. Oh, nice. Tie into it, yeah. Fantastic. Oh my yeah. goodness. Well, I'm, I can't wait for the next one. So we'll, 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 we'll keep it rolling, please. Cool, thanks. Um, but no, well done. Fantastic job on, on Fighter. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing many more of your projects. So thank you, Kenny. Awesome. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Kenny, everybody. Thank you.